past few years, the United States Air Force Academy Band and, indeed, the entire country have expressed appreciation to the veterans of World War II. These veterans sacrificed everything in defense of freedom. We should not forget that, because of those sacrifices, we can gather as free people, celebrating music and the joy it brings to us all. Among the veterans of World War II, there exists a relatively small group that, because of the very nature of their mission during the war in the Pacific, has remained relatively unknown and unfortunately unheralded in the years following the war's conclusion. That group of patriots brought a very unique weapon to every assault conducted by the United States Marines in the Pacific Theater from 1942 through 1945. Their weapon was an unbreakable secret code derived from their native language, and that group of American patriots is the Navajo Code Talkers. In times of war, secure communications are absolutely vital to success. In the early stages of the war in the Pacific, the Japanese held the upper hand. They were able to intercept and break encoded American communications. They gathered valuable intelligence and often misdirected American artillery fire. Civil engineer Philip Johnston knew the Navajo language, and he understood that it was complex, unwritten, and largely unknown outside the Navajo reservation. He recommended that the Marines could use the language to America's advantage, and demonstrated that a three-line English message could be sent in 20 seconds using Navajo, much faster than the 30 minutes it took using existing code machines. The Marines were convinced and soon began recruiting and training Navajo communication specialists. The first group of code talkers consisted of 29 Navajo recruits. They developed a code that initially contained 200 Navajo words for military terms. Knowledge of the code was kept secret and the entire code was memorized. Using radios and telephones, the code talkers relayed vital information, troop positions, orders, and requests for artillery support or reinforcements. Their transmissions were fast, efficient, and most importantly, secure. This enabled the United States to coordinate the actions of multiple units and to respond to the ever-changing demands of combat with remarkable speed and accuracy. The Code Talkers, 420 in all, played a crucial role in the Pacific, especially in the American island hopping campaign. They served with honor on Bloody Island battlefields from Guadalcanal to Saipan, including the costliest battle in Marine Corps history, Iwo Jima. It is difficult to imagine American victories in these battles without the Navajo Code Talkers. Their contributions were nothing short of monumental. For many years following the war, the Navajo Code remained a secret because of its potential use in other conflicts. However, the Code Talkers' experiences during the war served them well, and collectively, they became a force for change, stressing the importance of education and Native American civil rights.
The Code Talkers received their first national recognition for their wartime contributions at the 1969 reunion of the 4th Marine Division Association in Chicago. President Nixon awarded them a certificate of appreciation in 1971, and President Reagan declared August 14, 1982, as National Navajo Code Talker Day. The Navajo people prefer to live in beauty, peace, and harmony. And yet, they did not hesitate to answer their country's call for help in a deadly conflict that forever changed history. The Navajo Code Talkers were United States Marines who fought for their country, the United States of America. We honor their service. Semper Fi.